This pass play is the meta in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! It has multiple routes that get open. And it can score one play touchdown versus any defense. So if you want to see the most explosive and hard to stop pass play in the game, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I am once again going to be showing you some plays from my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. If you guys want to see more explosive offenses and money plays from this, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section as always. But if you don't want to wait for future videos, all you have to do is check out my ebooks, links in the description below. But if you don't want to wait for more videos and you want to see more from this or any of my ebooks, you can get my ebooks right now. Just click the links in the description, also in the top pinned comment, and it will download instantly to your device, or you can have it sent to any email of your choosing. And I just want to take a moment to thank all the people that have supported my channel this way whether it's buying my books commenting how much they helped you encouraging others to buy them in the comments and to all the people that have clicked my join now button or join my patreon thank you for watching supporting and helping grow this channel the play that i'm going to be using today is probably my favorite go-to pass play if i need a one play touchdown or just a big play to flip the field in a hurry and that play is out of the gun tight offset te i do run the saints playbook but this formation and play is also found in the green bay packers and los angeles chargers playbooks which i also made ebooks for links in the description as well the play itself is the PA shot seams, also known sometimes as the PA seams, but this is not to be confused with the gun type formation or the play called the seams in that formation. Even though it looks the same, the most important route on the play is different, so it will not work the same. There is another play that's found in the gun type called the drive corner, which can be used the exact same way with the exact same setups I'm going to show you guys. So if you're in any of the playbooks that have the gun type, which is actually more common and found in more playbooks, you can still use this play, you just have to use the drive corner. The playbooks that have this particular play are the Niners, Bills, Jets, and Lions. A couple of those playbooks I've made ebooks for as well. As far as the adjustments you should make on the play screen, there really are only two, but they're very important. The first one is to have your fastest or best receiver in this spot here, as it will get open the most, but truthfully, all four receivers will get open depending on what defense you're facing. So you really wanna just make sure you have your best receivers out there. Another important tip to make this offense more versatile and explosive comes from the packages setting, which is at the bottom on the select the play screen before before choosing the formation. If you hit the right stick over just one time, you will get the halfback one package, which for some reason will replace the tight end with a receiver in its place. This is really helpful if you want to flip the play to run this in the opposite direction, which will come up, as a lot of times you're going to want to run this to the open side of the field. If you don't do this setting, you will have a much slower tight end in this spot, making the play much less effective as speed is very important in Madden 23, if you guys don't know this already. This setting can only be found in the gun tight offset TE though, and is not found in the gun tight, so there's no way to get four wide receivers in that formation. The setup for this play can change based off of what defense you are looking at, but I will start with the most common setup first that works against the most defenses. Before I do, this video is part of a two or even three part series at this point of an entire offensive scheme that I've put out in gameplays like this, including a great running scheme and multiple smaller dink and dunk style pass plays. So if you miss those videos or want to add more to this offense, I will have a link in the description. I will also have an on-screen pop-up at the end of this video as well. To set this play up to work against any defense, first you want to streak the X or square route, whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation. Then I'm going to motion out the B or circle route. This is basically just to pull the deep coverages apart, but it could also get open against certain defenses. The last part of the setup is optional, but if you want a good check down route, I find putting the running back on an out route will get him open against just about any defense man or zone. But if you know you want to push the ball down the field, you could always keep him in as a blocker. Just know that you won't have a check down at that point. This setup works best against cover two man and zone as the corner route here gets outside of the safety above the cornerback against both. On this first play, my opponent is running a cover six, which is a cover two on one side and a cover four match on the other, which if you add them together equals six, and that's where the name come from. To determine which side is cover two, I simply have to look at the cornerback depths. Cover two corners start about five yards away from the line of scrimmage, while cover three and cover four corners start about eight yards deep. If you're not good at reading a defense, I made a video about this as well and have a link in the description. But you can see how the corner route gets open based on the street which pulls the safety back allowing the cornerback to get outside above the corner. This is not the only route that beats cover two though, it's pretty much every route in this play does. The wheel route that I put on a motion does as well. All you have to do is wait for him to get over the cornerback, then bullet and pass lead away from the safety, and you can see you can have another explosive play against cover two. The tight end can also beat cover two between the safeties as well, 
as the original diagram aims directly for the middle of the field, which typically will split the two safeties. This setup is also a very glitchy one-play touchdown against cover four mats, which is really one of the best defenses in Madden 23 this year, mostly because of how it plays the run, but also because the quarter zone coverages are much improved in pass coverage. In fact, I find this is one of the hardest defenses to hit a one-play touchdown against in the game this year. In the past, Madden, a simple corner route would destroy this, but in this year's Madden, the corners react to these type of routes much better to take these away. But this setup still works only you have to throw it to a different route, the streak route right next to it. Since they react to the corner routes better, we are going to have to use that against itself. All you have to do is wait for the safety and corner to react to the corner route, then immediately bullet and pass lead inside away, and the slightest hesitation in coverage can easily result in a one-play touchdown. This is a very precise timing-based throw, so you might have to take this into practice mode and lab the timing and the throw to get it down. But given that cover four is such a problem this year, this is a very important play to have in your arsenal. Against cover three, the setup changes drastically as I will show you two different setups. The first setup I find requires more timing and an even faster receiver, but it still works pretty consistently. For the setup, you will have to change the receiver that you're going to motion out. This time I'm going to motion out the X slash square route because I need the comeback route to pull the cover three cornerback back down outside. Other than that, all you have to do is run this from the hash mark to the open side of the field as you need to spread the deep coverages as much as possible. This is also a very timing heavy pass, but if you time the throw when the cornerback reacts to the comeback route, this corner route can easily get to the outside of the safety and over the top of the cornerback. And if I had Hollywood Brown running this route, it would have easily been a touchdown. I do find that this setup is less effective than the next setup I'm going to show you though. Even though it requires more setup, it still works better. I still want to run this from the hash mark to the open side of the field as that's always important when it comes to cover three plays. I still need the cornerback to be in a comeback route, so I'm going to motion him out the same way and then I'm going to motion him back after I put him into the comeback route since you're only allowed one motion on a play. Then I'm going to motion out the wheel route to pull the cover through safety in that direction. The first time you do this setup, your opponent will most likely think that you might have changed your mind or changed the play, but if you do this a few times, it becomes a major tell. So that's why it's important to have two different setups when it comes to a play like this. The last step is to streak the tight end and either streak or fade the slot receiver. Fading is much better as it will typically run around the zone chuck and get outside, getting further away from the safety than the type of receiver that'll try to run through the zone chuck. So fade is definitely better. Once the outside cornerback reacts to the comeback route once again, all you have to do is bullet and pass lead away from the safety and you can see how you can get much more separation than the previous setup. Making it a much easier one play touchdown, but it will eventually have a higher likelihood of being user based off of the setup giving it away. So that's it, that's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more plays from this offense, I will have another gameplay video that I put out recently already popping up on the screen, so just click the link. And that's it, thanks for watching, man, I'm it out. Need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below